And a lot of world. Let me see. Let me see first which wood is which. Also get a number four. Chicken? No, not chicken. Chicken. Spice level? Let me do a uh, medium on that one also. With cheese. And a whole world. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see first which what is which. All right. So we went. We came to this place today. Well, first and foremost, we're with Bob again. Say hi, Bob. Hello. How is there, everybody? And we came to this place called Dave's Hot Chicken. It's like a millennial spot. I've been here once before and it's pretty good. And we are sitting in the best place to live in the world. All right, let's see what we got right here. I got these medium. So this place is spicy, the food. They have all the way from, from mild all the way to extra hot. Ooh, look at this. Oh man. Oh, sizzling. Look at that. Nice. Got pickles. So this has coleslaw in it too. So it's the patty, the cheese, coleslaw, and pickles. And then the fries, the fries are seasoned fries. See, so you guys can see there. Man. Don't that look good. All right, Bob. Let's check this out. This is... I am in paradise. I, I am gotta... so happy. I got a surprise for you. So. Is she blonde? Woo, <laughs> 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 I got you there. Woo! That's the thing with Bob. I, I'm always like very serious. <laughs> Bob will catch me off guard with a, with a with a remark and it takes me a couple seconds to, to like, wait, what did Bob just say? That was funny. <laughs> so these are two different ones. I'm not gonna say what they both look like chicken, but one's not chicken. Oh yeah? But is it, I'm, is it like a sparrow? Huh? Uh, like a sparrow? Like what is uh, a sparrow? It's a little mini bird. Oh a little mini bird. So <laughs> no no Or it, like a dove. Let's see this one is a vegetable. Oh. But you can't tell which one it is. Well obviously this it's this one here. It says not. But I'm debating. One's chicken, one's the vegetable. I wanted you to try the one that was not chicken. But I don't know if you'll eat it. It tastes like chicken, but it's not chicken. Or how about this? You close your eyes and you pick one. Mm. Put your hands on one of these. Ready? How about this one? All right. Here you it's go. Not chicken. All right. So then all we got to do is this. Ready? Okay. And then bring it in oh, closer. I'm trying to see where the camera is. There we go. Here, let's do this. That way you can see oh, your face. Oh, yeah. Now, nah. that looks really good. Ready? Look at that. Looks like we're right in the middle of the screen. Okay. And click. All right. I have one of the best times in my life, which I've had a very good life. Spoiled rotten my whole life. Who spoiled you rotten? You? Well, I, my folks. And then, of course, I did terribly because I've always had a really good job and made gobs of money and mm. uh, spoiled my wife and all my girlfriends. How many girlfriends did you say you had? Oh, I Pickle. What year? Hmm. Hmm. My whole life, I've had a lot of girlfriends. All right, Bob, let's take a bite. Is a sandwich? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. So soon? Yeah. All right. You talk me into it. So we got our... Oh, man, this one's got double patties. We got the, the chicken. <laughs> we got that. coleslaw in there. Look at Bob. Look at this one. Look at that one. Oh, my God. It's like two great big huge breasts. <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, ready? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm. Oh my! 
Look I at knew that. that sandwich was going to do that just as soon as I turned it. That's why I was ready for it. Mm. I can chase my breast around the world. This is a little on the, on the salty side. How, show them, show them that. Here, show them the a little more here. This way. Show it to them. This is not chicken. This is cauliflower. Breaded, seasoned cauliflower. How does it taste? Tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken, right? Yeah. Mmm. And I love chicken. What do you like about the chicken? What's your favorite part of the chicken? The thigh? Uh, the breast? I would say, uh, well, the leg? No. I really love thighs, but I love the breast the best. Bob, go like this. You got some food on your lip, on your left side. There you go. Got it. There we go. What part of the chicken is the juiciest to you? I heard the chicken breast gets really dry. I heard that the thigh is probably the best part. Yeah, I think probably the thigh. I'm a thigh type of guy too. I like a nice meaty, juicy thigh, you know? Mmm. Okay. Mmm, this coleslaw is good. I don't know if you could see. What do you think about the fries? They taste a little, they season them, so they taste a little salty. Oh, I love salt. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's one thing about Bob. He loves putting extra salt on his meal. You like that over there, Bob? I sure do. Ha ha! Mmm, that's nice. That could make her so happy. Mm. Not that she's not happy already. That looks like a happy person even from the backside. Mm-hmm. Mmm. -hmm. Springtime's around the corner. Oh, springtime, when I think about spring, I think about roses. I think about rain. I think about the sleeping bird. sleeping with your window open, getting that fresh breeze. I think about birds chirping. I think about vacations. You know? Oh yeah. What comes All the happy stuff. Mm-hmm. All the shorts. Halter tops. Sandals. Mmm. Pickles. Ha <laughs> ha. Here's your straw for your. All right. You got a motor on that one? Mm hmm. I got one. This one needs a pump. Mm hmm. I wonder what's to this sauce. Let me try this sauce out. It looks like a ketchup mayo. Mmm. Thousand Island. Thousand Island, kind of? Let me look. Let me taste. Let me taste. It's one of them islands. Which island? The Bahamas? Hawaii? I know there's a thousand of them. <laughs> <laughs> you've been to the you've been to Hawaii before, right? Oh yeah, I spent uh, two weeks down there three times. Oh man! What took you? What took you uh, to Hawaii? Don't let me guess. A hot chick. Most definitely. No, what what, what, what well, took you to, to Hawaii? You know, everybody says how nice it is and it's the greatest part of the world. So I wanted to go. So I got married when I was 21. Wow. And uh, nobody ever thought I'd live to be 21. So, you know, I was celebrating that part of it. And I got married to a very beautiful woman that I'd been with all through junior high and high school. Oh, wow. And uh, we lived together for five years before we got married. We were going to do it all right and make sure we were doing things the right way. Say so we weren't making mistakes like all of our friends. Mm, what mistakes were those? Oh, most people get married and they have kids and they don't uh, grow up. And they don't go and have all their fun out and they get all tied up and have to take care of children and then next thing you know, boom, it explodes and they get a divorce. 
Mmm. Yeah, you know, they just don't work it out on planner, right? Which is very hard to do. So what you're saying that most people that get married, they get married and have kids and they don't live life. They just become mm -hmm. parents. And then they forget about living their lives just as much. Yeah, and then, you know, just a few years later, well, they're wanting to still uh, have the playtime and uh, it's all serious. I get it. I get it. No so, more Santa Claus. <laughs> so, you and your wife were trying to live life is what you're saying. Yeah, we were just trying to get everything done right. If we, we didn't have any kids right away. Did you ever have kids, Bob? Do you have kids? Well, I have a daughter. Okay. And, but I didn't marry the gal, and as soon as we got together, her grandparents wouldn't let us see each other anymore. Oh, wow. Of course, uh, yeah. Mmm. She came up pregnant, and... Everybody hated that part of it. But. You know what I like about this pat, this sandwich? It's a little salty, but you could tell that they added some type of sugar to the seasoning to balance the heat, the spice. So it's like sweet, hot, pretty good. Boy, that is really good chicken. And then all the seasoning and stuff they put on it, the way they cooked it. I keep thinking it's a lobster. <laughs> it looks like a lobster, but that's cauliflower. Here, show them again. Here. This is not chicken, this is cauliflower. Seasoned like chicken. I didn't think you were gonna like it, to be honest, but it tastes good, right? Very good. Mmm. Mmm. Here we sit downtown Denver where the most beautiful and hottest women in the world live. We're in like a gentrified area, a bunch of millennial restaurants, you know, beautiful dogs. You know those areas where they have beautiful dogs, people are going for jogs. There's not a cheap dog in sight. Every little dog I see is a little, it's a pricey little dog. Nice little area. And according to Bob, there's a lot of hot chicks over here. Here comes one right now. What makes a woman hot to you in your eyes? What's the first, like, what what grabs your attention? Oh, uh, well, of course, the way they take care of themselves, their shape, um, how they dress, how they act. What about her? Have. She's around your age. Well, she, or, she's pretty, really nice, but a real skinny and off to herself type of woman. Okay, and you like them um, a little, a little on the curvy side? A little heavier and, uh, you know, one little smile at you. What about those over there? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. There's three. You're not a kid. Oh, man. Of course, I'll be back there trying to catch up. As long as you could keep up. Yeah. You know, if you fall a little behind, that's okay also. As long as you can keep up, keep that momentum, you know, you're fine. You know, my biggest problem is, it's not so bad getting a little age on you. Oh, check this one guy right here. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. I don't know what's cute to her or the dog. That's a cute little puppy dog. Oh, she has a dog? <laughs> I could take my eyes off of her. Wow. I'm a little hot right now. You well, know, I can give you some air. All right. I never even would have looked at a heavier set, gal. There's in a lot my of my earlier life, but now I really think they're attractive. You're saying that when you were younger, you weren't attracted to heavier set women, but now that uh, you're older, you are. Yeah, I don't know why, but I agree with you on that. I agree. For some reason, I feel like um. Curvier, heavier set women, I feel like they have nicer personalities. Oh, they most certainly do. I like curves on a woman, but nothing beats a woman with nice curves and also has a beautiful personality. Oh, man. How are things with your girlfriend? She, they're not bad. They were going to be very good last time. We got interrupted with some problems. It's going to be all right, Bob. Yeah. I'm rooting for you. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna say anything bad about that. Bad about anybody. <laughs> Look at that dog. Whoa. It's a husky. Oh, those, <laughs> I'm looking at the dog. He's looking at the woman. I could believe those beer cooter pants and shorts she had on. I think they were like leopard. Yeah, that's what I meant. Unless I'm she sorry. had leopard print no, leggings. No, 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 I couldn't even already talk after seeing her. <laughs> <laughs> so, you think you could stick to one woman, Bob? I mean, I know you're older and you're trying to have, live your life and enjoy, but do you see yourself being with one or do you need... Uh, oh, I don't know. I I don't know if I should say that on the... You can't. Nobody's world. judging. But... Uh, and then I'll, I'll answer the same question. <laughs> Talk about taking your breath away. I could be, be with her for the rest of my life. Well, I'll answer for me. I think I, I could be with one. I'm at the point in my life where if it feels good, I'm all for it. If something feels right, you might as well go for it. Give it a chance. Give it a shot, right? Yeah. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And all the women that I've ever talked to that know you love you to death. Mm, this pickle, I don't know why, but this pickle mixed with the with the heat, it does something. This pickle, mmm. Oh man. It really puts a snap to it. Uh huh. Why are you talking about a snap? You put the snap in hot dog. <laughs> Cause you're a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say? A real, a good hot dog should snap. You know, mm. when, when you bend it, a good hot dog should just snap. Mmm. Tell you what, it is so nice down here and the women are loving the heat. <clears throat> that guy was so hot he just walked by, I thought she was on fire. <laughs> the sandwich here, it was good, but I want to say a lot of these millennial places, they're overly hyped. And this is one of them. I like the aesthetics of the restaurant. They have graffiti inside. They have an open open floor pan. Plan. They have an open floor pan. Wait. They have an open floor plan. They also have seats outside where you can eat outside. It's cute, but I want to say it's a little overrated in my book. I haven't tried the cauliflower uh, sandwich, but according to Bob, it's pretty good. It tastes like lobster. Yeah, I would never know that it was uh, cauliflower. You even think that it was chicken. <laughs> they're doing they're doing something right at this restaurant because there's a lot of millennials and they're getting a lot of uh, traffic. So they're obviously doing something right. I want to say another reason why they're doing good is this little area here is very nice. I think every city has a gentrified area. Like Chicago is so gentrified now. Um, I'm sure wherever you guys are from watching this video, you have parts of, the, of, of your city that are gentrified. Which I'm not against it, you know. Those those little gentrified areas are pretty cute. I like them. They're very expensive to live in, though. Man, can you believe I was just talking to a friend of mine that's in California right now, and he's renting a little one-bedroom studio, and he's paying twenty-five hundred a month. Mm -hmm. Wow. For for a one-bedroom studio in L.A. And he said that's not even the, in the nicest part of L.A. That's like in a mediocre part of L.A. I'm like, wow. We well, can go back to uh, Iowa, Des Moines, Iowa. You can rent a full-size house with six bedrooms. How much? Front yard, backyard, seven hundred a month. Wow! In Des Moines? And I'll tell you what—that is the best place in the world to live. Not as many people. The weather is fantastic. You'll think you're in paradise, and the wind never blows. It does it. And if the wind does blow, then there's a bad storm coming in. Because mm. you, you never see the wind blow. And I'm from Wyoming where the wind would be blowing so hard that you couldn't even hardly stand up most of the time. Wow. Look at that little puppy dog. A little chihuahua, it looks like. Mm. Oh, man. What a nice puppy. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> when he says, what a nice puppy, I don't know if you're referring to the actual puppy or the woman. Oh, man. Wow. 
We got it. She's even just wearing a crown. She must be a queen somewhere. A queen. Let's say old man at the same time. Ready? On, on a count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Oh man! Woo! Woo! Smoking hot. Smoking hot. I was always the top dog in my family. And everybody hated me. <laughs> Why was Except that? Except for my cousin. And my aunts and uncles, they go, oh, I don't want you act like Bobby Carl. That's what they'd call me. Oh, Bobby Carl. My name Carl. was Bob. My middle name's Carl. And I was spoiled rotten. Were you? Would you say you were considered the black sheep of the family? Well, I probably would. <laughs> we lived way out in the country, and everybody wanted to be out at our house. I always had a motorcycle. And you know, everybody wanted to be like me. How old were you when you first started riding motorcycles? 13, oh, 12? Oh, hell, way younger. Dude. Oh, wow. Way younger. Wow, you, you, you recall your first time uh, falling off the motorcycle? Well, I never really fell off. I wrecked <laughs> a lot of them. I bet you did. <laughs> I've never rode a motorcycle. Wow, you're kidding? Never. Oh my God. Never have. I tell you what, I've had a motorcycle my whole life. Wow. And never want to live without one. Man, I, I, I could see myself in a Harley, but I've never even, I wouldn't know how to switch gears with the clutch. I've oh, never... well, I could teach you that real easy. And you would never forget. <laughs> Man, Bob. I bet that guy could shift. <laughs> what do you think about women that ride motorcycles? <clears throat> well, think... everyone I've ever been to has been just really great. Oh, cool. And, you know, they... And it's not that they're real rough and tough and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at Bob. Man. I can't believe that guy. <laughs> Is so calm and she was so gorgeous. Today we're gonna finish this with a bang. I'm sure Bob will be back. Bob's gonna finish his sandwich. Oh yeah, I'm still working on it. You're good. You're good. You enjoy your food. Uh, like I said before, Bob and I could sit here and chat for hours, right? Let's see what Bob listens to here. That's what you like listening to, huh? <laughs> I didn't listen as much as best. All right, so I've never heard of this group, Five Finger Death Punch. You, is that what you're listening to, or somebody left these in here? No, these are mine. What is it? What kind of metal is that? Heavy metal? You're listening to it right now. What about uh, this? Who is this here? Anybody knows who this is? But they are, they're all real hard rock. Man, Bob loves the hardcore stuff. Oh, yeah. Five Finger Death Punch. Well, you got three Five Finger Death Punch CDs. Wow, and you got a, you got this one too, a double. Wow, rock on, Bob loves to rock. You ever made passionate love to this, to rock music? <laughs> All the time. All the time. Sex and rock and roll. Sex and rock and roll. Uh, I never have. Damn. All right, Bob. Bob's really about that life. Well, you know, it's like, I'm not much into the ring around the rosy type of music. Oh, what is ring, like R&B? Love making music? No. Uh, like Luther Vandross, or what do you mean? I don't really know. <laughs> Oh, Are you seeing I don't colors? even know, so I can't think of the groups. <laughs> now, my sister used to listen to some of the weirdest shit, which I wouldn't even have in my car. Now, I was the wild one in my family. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. And all the gals in the neighborhood wanted me, even though I just got married. What is it with women that like married men? I don't know, but they always had me in a lot of trouble. Uh-oh, Bob. And I just, hey, I went to Hawaii on our honeymoon. Where did I spend all my time? On the beach, 
They can beat you the other women. Oh, wow. They were so beautiful. I'm not kidding you. The most gorgeous women. Or you just... You, you drop your jaw, you couldn't even say nothing. <laughs> You've never seen a woman that beautiful. And in his skippy little tiny fitty bikini. Might as well not wear anything, right? Man. <laughs> and what would your wife think? She's seen these pictures? I'm sure oh, she. Oh, yeah, and we were on our own, you know, and it was like, God, I was trying to be so nice. <laughs> and it was hard for me. But, you know, I should have known then that it wasn't going to work, but we stayed together for 15 years. Wow. 15 years. Yeah. And we lived together for five years before we got married. Wow. And I was the wildest, craziest. You were a wild hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> a hot dog. We bought this boat. We both wanted boats. We loved the water. And it wasn't too long where I learned how to ski, then I learned how to swamp ski. Then you never I surf? was huh? surfing. You ever surfed before? No. no. No on the ocean, no, but oh, look at that, look at that. They're in the brown pants. Oh man, oh man. Oh man. And she's just trying to be calm I mean, just normal. She could care run me around on a leash like that. <laughs> Should be like, Heel. <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit, good boy, bad boy, bad boy. It's beautiful. When I was in that way, I had these seizures made. What do they say on them? There's nothing in the world better than a cold bush. Oh no, there's only one thing in the world better than a cold Budweiser. All right. And that's a warm bush. Oh. <laughs> What happened with that shirt? You, I got it. I just looked at it this morning. I was gonna wear it, but so so say it again. I didn't want to say it again. How does the saying go? There's nothing. There's nothing better in the world than a cold Budweiser. Oh man, I said it wrong. <laughs> you got me all messed up. You had it there. But, yeah. There's only one thing in the world better than a cold bush, and that's a war army cold Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's so a warm bush. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. No. Wow. A nice sandal. <laughs> She's got beautiful feet. <laughs> Woo! I love her heels. Oh, man. They're so tight. <laughs> oh, that's too much. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Uh, like I said before, Bob and I could sit here and chat for hours, right? But what we'll do is, if you want to leave a comment down below of a restaurant or a fast food uh, restaurant you would like Bob and I to check out, feel free to leave a comment. If you want to give Bob a shout out, make sure to leave a comment. Feel free. Thank you for tuning in and watching this video. Harry's checking out. See you next time. Peace. See ya. All right.